so today we'll be talking about how to display a qr code uh, in react native's new architecture using fabric so for now we will just uh, talk about android in this video so this would be the output at the final uh, of this video so first of all create a react native project so at the time of uh, me creating this video the latest version of react native is 0.71.2 but while creating a uh, project with version 0.71.2 uh, the coco it gets stuck at installing coco ports and never finishes that's why i'm using 0.71.1 so if you face the same issue you can just switch to 0.71.1 i think there is some uh, bug might be in 0.71.2 <coughs> anyways so i have created a default project uh, okay this is a bare bones react native project which i have created uh, first thing uh, is to enable uh, the new architecture in your react native app so what i will do is i will go to android and i have to search for where did it go okay you have to search for new arc enabled so just copy this i will go to my default project ignore this for now just go create a default react native project search for new arc enabled so you have to go to gradle.properties and make sure this is uh, unable this is switched to true by default it is false so this will enable uh, you know react native for your project uh, sorry new architecture for your project next uh, we have to go to the fabric native modules so what it tells uh, so in this video i will be using kotlin because that is the recommended way by google and it, but the documentation is still using java uh, so yeah so if you are interested in that keep watching so first we have to do folder setup so uh, uh, so we are displaying a qr code right so i have uh, defined it as rt and qr code again the naming is very important it's better you keep the name same as to my video otherwise you will face lot of issues uh, if you are just copying code from the documentation because you might copy some th the naming from the documentation and you might get mismatch errors so first uh, create a folder rt and qr code next create an android folder forget about the generated folder forget about the ios folder then create a js folder then create a package.json and ignore the pod spec this is for ios so inside the js folder create rtn qr code native component.ts again the naming is important it should be same as that of the folder name followed by native component.ts then uh, i have gone to the native component.ts and basically i have copy pasted everything from over here the only difference is change which i have made is that i have changed the name it to uh, my components name and uh, in the interface we will be sending some kind of a text from react native to the native side to display a qr code right that's why i have taken a text next uh okay you can ignore okay package no you can't ignore this we need this so i have copy pasted everything from package.json inside uh, the package.json but again you have to change this name and here in the pod spec as well rtn dash qr dash qr dash code and he and here as well uh, rtn qr code specs as well uh, this if you want this i have kept it as default uh, this is like github uh, links if you want you can update it your choice okay i will ignore ios for now okay so for uh, android i have to create an android folder then inside that you have to create build.gradle inside the android folder the dot gradle file is automatically generated uh, then uh, create an src folder in android then a main folder in src java folder in main then com folder in java and rt and qr code in com then create three files qr code dot kt qr code manager dot kt and qr code package dot kt 
so inside the build.gradle again i have copied everything from the documentation the only thing which i have changed is this uh, because we are using kotlin uh, that's why i have added kotlin apply plugin kotlin dash android as well as uh, to display the qr code i am using the zing uh, library from google i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right so the, you need this library as well as uh, for again for kotlin you need this so you have a uh, setup kotlin for uh, for this android folder right but you but i would also suggest uh, setting up kotlin for your entire react native uh, project as well so inside the main android folder go to build.gradle and here you can add this line kotlin version 1.6.21 and in dependencies add this line class path org dot jet prints uh, kotlin gradle plugin okay then you have to go to the app folder and you have to go to build dot gradle again apply this line apply plugin kotlin dash android and the next thing which you have to do is that you also have to write this for kotlin as well including the dependency of kotlin standard lib okay once this is done again coming back to our android folder of rt and qr code so uh, inside uh, the q q qr code dot kt what i have done is that i have extended app compat image so your qr code would be displayed on an image view right so i have ex uh, extended app compat image and i have created one function this basically i have copy pasted from the documentation uh, of zing uh, which uh, tells us how to display a qr code and once the qr code is displayed it is in inside the bitmap and then i have uh, using the set image bitmap of the app compact image view and setting the bitmap inside the set image bitmap of the image view so you can just copy paste this code again i have copy pasted it from the documentation as well uh, you can pause the video if you want to uh, next coming back to qr code manager dot kt uh, again i have copy pasted uh, most of this code from the documentation itself just uh, the thing is that i have uh, uh, ch changed the uh, you know java code to kotlin code and uh, yeah and change the naming as well so here you first you have to include the qr code manager dot name then uh, class qr code manager uh, if you want you can pause the video and copy paste this code as well okay these are the imports so basically it is kind of creating a manager class it is again a boilerplate code and you have to refi define your qr code over here this is also important uh, this should be rt in qr code again be careful with the naming otherwise you will fa face an issue and this is the method where we are uh, setting up the qr getting the text from react native side and setting it to our uh, bitmap image view then again this is again a boilerplate uh, method uh, class which is required by the new architecture called qr code package and it requires create view manager and create native modules we are creating a view manager so inside this you can write this code okay once you have done that what you have next uh, you have to do code gen so for android what you have to do is cd into your my app and here it says that do yarn add double dot slash rtn center text but uh, in the documentation it is specified that the rtn center text is outside of my app but in our case uh, the rtn qr code is inside our uh, react native app so you would have to do yarn add dot slash not double dot slash a single dot slash rtn qr code uh, and then uh, you have to open the main android folder so this android folder inside android studio wait for it to build a little uh, it might take a little bit to for it to do no to do gradle syncing and building in the indexes and all that stuff once uh, your android project is ready inside android studio open the terminal of your android studio and then run this command dot gradle w generate uh, code gen artifacts from schema so this uh, 
will create code generation and to check whether everything is correct or not you have, can go to node modules and uh, inside that you can check for rt and qr code so the uh, rt and qr code is over here and here you can see uh, everything is generated for me so you should see something like this okay now coming back to the documentation so here it specifies what the, the generated code should look like then uh, yeah we have already done this step of adding this uh, files okay uh, next uh, yeah you can run this command if you want to again but make sure it is not double dot it is single dot in our case because the rt and qr code is part of our uh, project and it is not outside the project uh, yeah and now uh, to use it you can go to app.tsx you can import this line rt and qr code and then uh, to use it you can for now i have just passed hello world as the text yeah i think uh, that should be it uh, if you face any issue do let me know in the comments uh, and I know uh, this is a, a little bit hard uh, instead of directly installing uh, you know node module dependency but I would uh, recommend you don't do that because firstly you I don't think there is any uh, QR code uh, library available yet for the new architecture and even for the old architecture I think there was something react native QR code or something but it was using JavaScript to render that QR code which is not great and it is uh, it will cause performance issues in your app so it's better to use a native code for this uh, so yeah I think that's it uh, yep I think that's it thank you for watching see you in the next video bye